All right, my friends, here's what's on the bench today. Uh, this is a customer's restring. It's a carbon, right? So pre-key, so we got a nice little chip right there. That's unfortunate. Um, string through the back, uh, set neck construction. One, two, three, four, five piece neck. Really nice purple top on there. Nice inlays on it. Locking tuners. Got another little scratch right there. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But uh, here, hold on. Let's, before I go and rip these strings off of here, let me just play a couple of the riffs that I play every day. Strings are a little high. Seems like it plays good though. It's got a nice weight about it. So pre-Kiesel, let's think back. What year did Jeff Kiesel take over? Uh, I'm going to say 2014 or something. So Carvin, you know, uh, turned into Kiesel guitars. And the new owner renamed it. Put it back to the family name. So instead of Carvin, the Carvin was a name that they made up. And Kiesel is the actual family name. And Jeff Kiesel owns the company now. But I think Jeff took over in 2012 or 2013 or 2014 or something. And so he's been in charge. And it's been at least probably a good 10 years now that Jeff has been in charge over there. And they are doing, in, from what I know, and as much as some YouTubers talk about how much they love those Kiesels, uh, I think that they're doing really well. Okay, this has locking tuners on here, so I'm going to loosen these so that these strings come out. But all the carbon and all the kiesels are um, all, uh, what do you call it, where you call in, they're all special order guitars. You have to go on the website, you have to call, you have to order what you want, and they'll do it in different wood combinations, they'll do it different designs, they're different models, and uh, you, every guitar is different. So they are all custom guitars. Built one at a time. So you're not going to go and find a um, hundred of these things at the local guitar center because they don't sell them that way. Alright, so I'm going to lift that off of there. Get these strings out of here. Yeah, so this, I'm going to guess that this guitar is probably at least 10 years old. And they usually put the uh, serial number down here. I'm not going to show it to you because I don't own this guitar. But the serial number is usually down here on the output jack. Okay, so we're just going to... Shine on the frets just a little bit here. I can see that there are some miles on this guitar. And I'm going to say 
it's getting dangerously close to where it needs a refract. Beautiful inlays on this. Looks like a real black ebony fingerboard on this guitar. I mean, they've always made great guitars. And it is a good story because a lot of uh, guitar companies start up and they see some success. But when the owner of the store, the you know, he, he, they get old. And so guys end up retiring. And it's not very often that the, the son, the kids, you know, the siblings decide to take over the, the company. But that's what Jeff Kiesel has done, and props to him, because uh, Kiesel guitars are really kicking butt right now. I don't know about all that sales numbers and all that kind of stuff. I just know from what I hear and from, from what I see with the YouTubers that are just in love with them. And uh, out of my used guitar shop, there was a... Uh, I've sold probably three or four Kiesels, because for once in a while you'll get one traded in. But um, Carvin's... I was able to find a collection of them uh, two years ago or something. And uh, I think I bought 12 carvings and I flipped them all out of my shop here. And uh, they were pretty cool. I got a smoking deal on them. And I, and I traded them and did all kinds of stuff to try to make a few bucks on everyone. And, I think I did pretty good overall. And there's another, uh, when I bought all the guitars, there's another guitar shop in town. I'm in the Phoenix area. And the other shop in town is um, Bazaar Guitar. And they're down on 7th Ave in downtown Phoenix. And I'm over in the East Valley. I'm in Mesa, over in the East Valley. But Bizarre Guitar, when this collection became available and when I heard about it, I finally made it over there. The only thing that the guy had left were a bunch of carvings. So Bizarre Guitar snagged up all the Gibson stuff. And I'm like, oh, okay, fine. I, I, I'll, I'll take the carvings. And I was happy to get them. And I did pretty good on them. But it kind of surprised me, that Bizarre Guitar didn't snag up on all these carvings. So this isn't one of those. This is a customer's. I've never seen this guitar. But, uh, yeah, that was kind of cool. It's probably about a year ago, maybe two years ago, where I purchased a dozen or so carvings. Good times. And some of my regulars still have them. Okay, just going to kind of hit this with some guitar polish. Now, I have to also mention one more thing about these guitars that is super cool. So, on this bridge, once in a while you'll pick up a carving and you'll say, Oh, I don't want to buy that carving because the bridge is down as far as it will go. There's no more room to adjust these. They're down as far as it would go. But take a look at this bridge. This is recessed. So it's got room down there. So you can really lower these things a lot. And no other guitar company that I've ever seen will, will take your bridge and recess it down in there like that. Super cool. I think that was a great thing that they did. And the first one, or the first two that I saw, I was like, oh no, hold on a second, man. That, or some, maybe something wrong with that guitar because this bridge is like decked and there's no more room to uh, adjust it. And uh, 
then I had a customer come in and he goes, no, 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 hold on, dude, look. It sets down in there, it's recessed. And I'm like, oh, how about that? That's cool. All right, so we're ready for strings. Roll the jingle. Today's string choice. Today's string choice. Diderio, 10 through 46. Bright tone, perfect intonation. Regular light gauge, nickel wound to Dario. Advertising their auto trim tuning machines. And they got some, Dario makes a lot of gadgets. Tons of stuff. And I have a lot of that kind of stuff available down in the store. Different, um, different capos and, and all kinds of accessories. Okay, let's get our strings out of here. Okay, this is our low 46. Yeah, that's an unfortunate dent right there. But, I mean, that's what happens sometimes. Sometimes you're having fun and you're playing a gig and you're just totally rocking out. And you end up scratching your guitar up pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and tune this thing up. I'm going to put it in standard tuning. Now this, uh, unfortunately, this guitar has a couple of good little dents in it. But, uh, you know, that's the beauty of having a relic guitar. It wouldn't lose its value. But unfortunately, because of the dents on this one, it has lost its value. Well, I mean, not all of it, but a little bit. You couldn't get like a, a really, you know, going price on this. You'd have to, you'd have to list this in fair condition. which is unfortunate. But again, this is a customer's guitar and he probably loves this thing regardless of the fact that it's got a couple little good dents in it. here on my knee and I'm gonna strum on this thing a little bit just to it feels so uh, high quality the next kind of wide this direction. Uh, 
These things are still out and around the, the carbons. Yep, it's a customer's restring. It's a carbon. They are really nice guitars. Just wanted to show you guys real quick. Little video. Carbon guitars. That's unfortunate. It's got a couple little dents and dings in it. But again, it's um, at least a 10-year-old guitar now. Carvin and Kiesel are always really good with their with their paint jobs and everything. Super nice guitar. If it doesn't bother you that there's a couple little dents in it, you've got no problem just shredding on this thing all day. Spurs are locking tuners on it. Cool guitar. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Let me get into the next restring video. I got a lot of guitars that need restrung, so I'll see you guys over in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Go buy a guitar. Mm -hmm.